Greetings guys, welcome to the channel. My name is DJ Odyssey. On today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I record vocals in FL Studio. I'm gonna keep this as short as I can, and I will probably go to another video, another day where we actually gonna record someone in studio and we do it straight up, straight up. But if you watch my latest studio sessions, you will notice how I actually record vocals, but I just wanna explain it just a little bit, you know? So I have a blank canvas here. And then we're gonna set it up for recording. You know, just a simple recording kind of template, you know. So number one, what I do is, okay, you add an audio track by pressing the plus there, say audio track, and then that's on inset one. Immediately when you do that, it goes to the mixer. And then you can call this maybe your beat track. Let's just call this your beat track. That's where you're gonna put your beat. And normally you wanna maybe reduce it a little bit. Or if you feel confident enough that your vocals will be fine, you can still keep it as high as you want and then you will decrease everything when you start mixing everything, you know? So it's still fine, you know? You think that things are clipping or whatever, but as long as they don't clip, clip, you know? As long as you just increase the volumes and then later you're gonna reduce the vocal volumes and then now you start making sure everything is on a good level. So, but that's the first thing I do at this beat track. And the second thing that I do, you wanna add in another audio track, right? Okay. Once you're done adding this audio track, I like to call this my recording track. I'll just put it as rec. And then let's randomize the colors, you know, just make it look good. Uh, so now you have a recording track. Also the recording track comes into the mixer. So now this is what you have to be mindful of, right? Uh, when you press this, you're choosing where your microphone is. So let me switch on my mic. Uh, so my microphone, that one, that records vocals, it's on now, but it's not taking anything on FL Studio. So what you do, you come here and then you know which channel your mic is on. So you wanna choose the mono, so you choose this one and then it's gonna say external input only, which is fine, which is the one that I actually want. So now the mic is on. As you can see, it's showing over there and it's actually audible on FL Studio, right? So now I was gonna come here where you actually choose external input only. Make sure that you're on external input only. That's how I do it. These other ones might take effects. Like sometimes you wanna put effects when a person is recording like a reverb so that they can actually hear themselves with some reverb, you know? So that's where I'm gonna show you how I do it when I do this, you know, so sharp. So keep it on external thing and then also there's people that don't wanna hear themselves when they record. So you can press on off for monitoring and then now the microphone is off. So you don't get to hear it now. A person can just record without hearing themselves. So that's the thing. And you add another thing, that's what I do, add another thing, and then I'm gonna call this like a main vocal, so I'm just gonna be calling it MV. So with MV, what I'd like to do is the recording thing moves from here, comes to MV, right? So MV is your main vocal. So when I'm recording, uh, I like to put some effects on MV. Those are like my pre-mix and thing. So I don't feel like putting on the recording thing where you, everything is just gonna be on a recording channel. I like to put it on the main vocal so that it's pre-mixing. I'm already pre-mixing your vocals. And then that way, when you are gonna mix the song, you already know what you're looking for it to sound like, you know? So on MV, I probably put something very simple like, uh, so if it's a vocalist, uh, probably Waves Tune. probably put waves tune first and then put it on minor depending on the key of the song. Let's say the song is on E minor and I keep it on generic and then you will deal with this when you listen into the vocals, right? So let's say we down like that and then I'll put something like CLA vocals, you know? So what I do with CLA vocals, what I like with it is that it has uh, the bass and the treble. So if the vocal has too much bass in it, you can do this for the sub or the lower, Frequencies again, can just do this, and then you can increase the highs if you want it to be more crispy, just to hear how it's gonna sound when it's 
dope. If the vocal is a little bit low in volume, you deal with this, you know? So you can increase it a little bit. So you don't have to deal with the mixing too much. You are working. Remember, you are recording a person. So you just make sure that you have something that can also just boost things when you're working and then you're done like that. And then MV will go to a reverb and delay, of course, just like this. And then reverb, I like to put different reverbs and delays depending on what you do. And then you can increase the reverb, you can increase the delay when you're listening to the song, you know? So that's other things about recording vocals that I do. Now that we're here now, so we want to try and record some vocals from, from the microphone just for you to hear it work, right? So put it on song. I'm just gonna go here and then just press record. Make sure I like to put notes and audio. I don't like automations and clips. I just like this too. And I record straight into, into the playlist. Some people like to take it to Edison and whatnot. So it's up to you. It's up to you what you want to do, you know. But I record straight into this. And then from here, um, let's just press record. All right, it was just taking some something right there. So we're just gonna play. So a person has been recording just like that. And then what you do next is, uh, if you don't like the take, or you feel like it's a good take, but you want them to repeat the take, you mute this. And then what I like about FL Studio now is that you can just press record again. If you notice, it's still recording on the same recording thing. It just created a submix of it, uh, like it's grouped in a way. So when it's when it's playing, you will see it play right here. Also, if you notice, it's actually playing one on MV. If I have effects on MV like this, now when I play this. It's actually playing on MV. So you can actually hear how your vocal or anything sounds when it's still playing on record. And then later on, if you like this take, you can just put it here and you can keep the one at the top muted and everything. You know, those are things that you don't use, you know? So I do this. There's no difference. Now it's no longer playing on record, it's playing on MV, and you can do whatever that you do from here. And let's say you like this take, it's supposed to come here. But if you notice, now it's still playing on record, you know? So what I do is, on this, group it with above track since it's an empty thing. Now this, it's only gonna play on MV. But because I didn't move it, let's move it like this. Now it's just, now it's just playing on MV. So meaning that if some vocals, I, uh, somebody just did a, they cut when they were singing and then they wanna continue and then they kind of overlapped here. So you want to put it on another channel. Instead of opening another channel, you can just easily put it on this sub, this group thing, and it's going to be here. And then it continues. They have the same effect, same volume, everything continues. So that's another thing about this. And then another voice after coming from here, you after coming from here, you move it there again. You understand what I'm saying? So it makes life easier like that. And then if you have backing vocals, I still record them from this. And then when I like them, I take them to another audio track. I probably will be calling this backing vocals, let's say. Now let's just give it a nice color. And then 
Now, if this is a baking vocal, wait, let's remove this first. If this is a baking vocal, now there's gonna be a baking vocal. Gone are the days where I have to manually take this to another to another channel right here. No, I don't do that. I just grab it to the channel that I want it to go to. And that's dope. And that's how you, all oh, that's how I record vocals in FL Studio. And then everything else, hey man, it's up to you what you want to do, how you add defects and everything. But today's lesson is just showing you the kind of things that I do when I'm on FL Studio recording vocals. So I don't know what I left out, but they, Okay, guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace. Another studio session, maybe?